Welcome to a new vlog. You might remember this uh, small module from the previous in the mail. This is the Rui Deng DC to DC converter with a uh, claimed efficiency of 95%. Now, a figure of 95% efficiency is not unheard of these days. Many DC to DC converters can achieve this with a proper circuit design. This particular model uses the MP2307 converter chip manufactured uh, by Monolithic uh, Power. And uh, if you take a look at their uh, data sheet, we can immediately see where they got the 95% uh, efficiency figure they advertise. This graph right here shows the efficiency of the chip at the um, uh, different uh, conditions. So at around uh, 0.4 or maybe 0.5 amps with, I believe that's the uh, Owen or the Anang multimeter beeping. But anyway, let's back, let's get back to this uh, graph. At around uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 amps uh, with a uh, V input of 5 volts and a V output of 3.3 volts, you get a 95% efficiency. It's that uh, red curve. And this is something to keep in mind. Any converter will have a sweet spot where the designers have tuned the efficiency to be the maximum possible. In this case, they were thinking this chip is going to be used mostly in this region with a uh, 5 volt input and 3.3 volt output at around 0.5 amps. So we want our maximum efficiency with those parameters. They are also limited by design and technology, so they can't just move the efficiency peak wherever they wish. But the point is, this is where they got the figure of 95% they are advertising on the sale page of this module. Now, another thing to consider for achieving this uh, datasheet figure is the layout of the board. Because if you are not following the recommended uh, layout or uh, best practices in terms of uh, DC to DC converters layout, it will be difficult to replicate the uh, datasheet specification. In this case, here is the uh, recommended uh, layout uh, they're giving in datasheet and uh, they're not following the recommended uh, layout on this uh, PCB. They're not using the surface mount inductor showed here because those are more expensive so the efficiency will be a bit lower because of that. The PCB layout in DC to DC converter is very important for other parameters like the uh, voltage ripple or stability of the converter. So it's best to stick with the recommended layout if you want to achieve the best results with that converter chip. Also another thing that I noticed is that we have an input diode which is uh, this one right here D1. They are probably using this diode as an input uh, polarity protection but that has a side effect. It lowers the efficiency because you will always uh, drop a voltage on that diode. So when you want the maximum efficiency, you don't use a series diode on the input. Now let's actually measure the efficiency uh, of this uh, circuit. To do that, we need to know the power that goes in and the power that comes out. We can then divide the output power by the input power and we get the efficiency of the circuit. To create that graph that you've seen in the datasheet, we need to repeat this uh, measurement in different steps uh, for different output currents. So to do these measurements, you can use whatever you have available, but your results will be dependent on the accuracy of the instruments you use. In my case, I'm going to use a bench power supply to supply the module with 5 volts. And for the actual measurements, I'm going to use four multimeters. Two of them will be measuring on the input and two of them will be measuring on the output, both voltage and current. And to have a variable load on the output, I'm going to use this 60 watt electronic load. I'll record the values manually in a table, although in a professional environment, you could automate uh, this setup and the software would control the instruments for changing the parameters and recording the measurements in an automated fashion. If you own fancy equipment like a source measure unit, that one instrument can do all the measurements and data log the results, but a source measure unit is way out of our budget, so we will be using uh, individual multimeters for this uh, test. 
To give you a clear indication of how my test setup is wired, here is a schematic. So here I will be applying 5 volts DC from my bench power supply. We have an ammeter and a voltmeter measuring on the input. This is our DC to DC converter. Then we have a voltmeter and an ammeter measuring on the output and our adjustable load right after the uh, multimeters. So my test setup is uh, running right now. Unfortunately, this load can only go down to 0.2 um, amps. So I'm going to record now in uh, increments of uh, uh, 100 milliamps all the data in a table and I'll see you in a few moments with the finished table. So we got our set of uh, results now. And if we look at the uh, graph, we can see we get the maximum efficiency, which is uh, around 89.3% at uh, 0.2 amps output current, which doesn't coincide with uh, what we've seen in the data sheet. It should have been at around uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 amps, the uh, peak of efficiency for this DC to DC converter. But I think I know what's causing this. Because we have that uh, input uh, protection diode in series with the uh, input, that's causing a voltage drop. And uh, as the output current increases, the input current increases, which is causing uh, a higher uh, power loss on that uh, diode, on D1, the input protection diode. So as we increase the output power, the efficiency goes down uh, because this is the way the converter works, but also because we're dissipating more power on that diode. So I think this is causing this uh, graph that we're seeing right now and the maximum efficiency, which is just 89.3%. Uh, That's way less than the 95% uh, advertised but we kind of expected uh, this kind of uh, results because we noticed that input diode uh, prior to starting the uh, testing. And we also noticed the layout is not done according to the recommended layout from the data sheet. So we've shown that this converter doesn't come close to the advertised 95% efficiency figure. But uh, you might ask yourself, what can I do to improve the efficiency of this converter? And uh, in this case, it's uh, pretty simple. The first thing you need to do is to remove this input protection diode, replace this with a, a zero ohm uh, jumper resistor or just a solder, solder blob. Uh, just make sure you don't shorten anything. And uh, that should uh, increase uh, the efficiency. Also, you could install the um, a bootstrap diode which is mentioned in the data sheet for improving the efficiency in certain conditions that should be a 1N4148 that could probably give you a small increase as well so with these two small modifications you could probably get like two or three percent increase in efficiency I don't think you could easily place a surface mount inductor instead instead of these uh, this uh, through hole one to uh, minimize the losses in the inductor. That's about all the improvements you can do easily on this uh, module. If you really need a higher efficiency module, you need to check out the off-the-shelf DC to DC converters from uh, big manufacturer names like uh, Texas Instruments because uh, those really deliver as advertised. So I hope this was an interesting uh, video to watch. I hope you learned something uh, today. This method for measuring uh, the efficiency of uh, power supplies can be used for any type of uh, power supply. As long as you have four multimeters, you can measure the input power, you can measure the output power, and you can calculate the efficiency for any type of uh, power supply. I will be placing links in the description below for all of the equipment uh, used in this video for the DC converter, for the multimeters and for the dummy load. As always, don't forget to check out the links.